Digging up geraniums to keep over the winter is easy to do. We would go all the way around, dig it up, carefully lift it out. We'd pull all the old dead flowers off and leaves, and we're gonna clean it up, put a little growing media in the bottom of the pot, because we don't want to plant too deep. We'll take the plant, get all the roots in, spread them around sort of as best we can uniformly around the pot. Come in, we'll fill it up the rest of the way with the media. Bring the plant up so we don't have it too deep. Start to press it down and then as we pack that soil in and around the plants of the roots, it will pack down to leave us a reservoir in the top of the pot for our water. And then if you have a sunroom or a sun porch or even a garage that's attached to the house where it doesn't freeze out there, not necessarily heated, but it won't freeze, and just set them in there with minimal water, just enough to keep them alive, but not enough to encourage growth. And you can hold them on through the winter in a pot and then go ahead and plant them out in the garden. And now if we're just going to knock the soil off the roots and bare root them, we're just gonna reach down around the base and pull the plant up retaining a little bit of root, but we don't have to worry about the rest of it so much. If you take about, oh, half to two thirds of the leaves off, make sure there's no flower buds. And so if we're gonna bare root and hang them up, we're gonna get them like this. In a cool, damp, dark environment like a basement, hanging upside down bare root, they will survive the winter and about two out of three plants will grow again when you plant them out in the spring, you'll cut them back and plant them and they will grow. So that's the old fashioned way, but it is effective. You won't save 100%. So just dig more than you think you need and put them down there. And it seems to work well if you have that basement. Or of course, if you have a root cellar, it's even better. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.